collecting Sun and Moon era product has gotten really expensive. Tag teams are going crazy. Waifus are going crazy. Freaking Lily sold for like 2000 plus dollars. What I want to explore today is, are there any buying opportunities in the Sun and Moon era right now in 2023? And if this is your first time here to the channel, welcome. Thanks so much for coming. Make sure to leave a like or subscribe if you do like the video and a thumbs down if you hate the video. So I added up all of the recent sold booster boxes in the entire Sun and Moon era. I took every single booster box that you could possibly buy and I tallied it all up to come up with a total price. The price is absolutely staggering at $6,766. That means if you wanted to buy every single Sun and Moon era booster box sealed in 2023 at this very moment, you would be paying close to seven grand. So the question remains, are there any buying opportunities in the Sun and Moon era? Now, let me preface this. This is not financial advice at all. I don't give financial advice, but I'm just talking about potential buys that I'm thinking about. So today I'm going to share with you three of my favorite Sun and Moon booster box buying opportunities I see right now. Now, when I say buying opportunities, I'm not talking about like, I think they're going to skyrocket or go crazy. I'm just saying that I feel like the, the value is there for the price that they're selling for. The first box that I feel like is a pretty decent buy is the Unbroken Bonds booster box at around $500, like $550. All of these tag team era booster boxes have gotten kind of crazy. And the cool thing about the Unbroken Bonds booster box is it actually features Charizard and Reshiram. People have gotten really crazy about Full Art Trainers and Umbreon and Evolutions and all of that recently. So Charizard's not quite as popular as he was in 2020, but I still feel like Charizard is popular enough. He can hold a set or she, she Charizard. He, she Charizard, I, Charizard can hold a set. So yeah, I would say if you could scoop one of these up for like four, between 400 and 500 dollars, it's pretty, it's pretty decent. Charizard should come back around. The next is another tag team era box, and that is Unified Minds. I do feel like Unified Minds is maybe one of the weaker of the four tag team sets, but it does feature Mewtwo and Mew. It has a lot of really cool cards in it, like Umbreon and Darkrai, Garchomp and Giratina. Let me put it to you this way. I would definitely rather buy a Unified Minds booster box than an Evolving Skies booster box for $400 or $450 or whatever they're selling for now. Like if you could get both of those booster boxes and you could pick one or the other, but definitely pick Unified Minds at least right now. Last but not least, my favorite buy in the whole Sun and Moon era as far as booster boxes go is the Burning Shadows booster box. Now I'm seeing that these are selling pretty regularly between like three and $400 with the most recent sold as of today 33014. Now keep in mind, this set does have the Rainbow Rare Charizard GX. And if you remember back to 2020, that was a pretty hype card. Like I said earlier, I think Charizard has kind of depreciated a little bit in the Pokemon TCG and things like full art trainers and things like tag team cards have gotten a little bit more popular. I feel like because this set has Charizard though, it does have upside potential. Like if you see like Cosmic Eclipse booster boxes, for example, those are starting to go for in the 700s has a really awesome Pikachu card. Pikachu is definitely obviously one of the most popular Pokemon, of course, and always has been. That set also has Charizard and Breaks in it in a really awesome trainer gallery. Although I don't know if they called it trainer gallery back then, but it's basically a trainer gallery. I feel like if Ultra Prism and Cosmic Eclipse can see those plus 500 dollar numbers i don't understand why burning shadows couldn't burning shadows isn't a fantastic like knock your socks off set but it has an insanely awesome rainbow rare charizard one of the other things too is like rainbow rares are not popular right now and i feel like that could swing one day this isn't financial advice but i'm just saying rainbow rares could become popular again and charizard will always be popular so if you can get a burning shadows booster box for 330 when a Cosmic Eclipse booster box is selling for like 700 plus, all I'm saying is it might be something that you just wanna keep an eye on. I certainly will be. I may even try and sell off some of my stuff and buy a couple Burning Shadows booster boxes just to have on hand, just in case. That's all I have for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Hopefully it was helpful for you. I know this was kind of a simple video, but I just wanted to get this off my chest. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.